We came into the bedroom tonight and we noticed that one of the lights in the bed slide was turned on. I went up there to turn it off and it was already off. The switch was off, but the light was on. It wasn't fully brightened, but it was like a dim on. So I'm like, what's going on with this? I couldn't turn it off. So I look, I took the cap off and there was some moisture inside of there. And at, when I examined it further, I noticed that there was some some condensation or a leak of some kind that had put some water inside of the light fixture, which I'm guessing is connecting the circuit, which is making the light come on. Which is a little creepy, because even with the lights out, this light's on all by itself. I took it off and I got it uh, all dried up. And we actually have a fan over here now. We have a fan that's pointed up. I got the fixtures hanging out. And so I don't have the fan on right now because uh, when I'm recording it's too loud, but uh, we're going to try to dry that out and see if that will turn the light back off. And then I think I have a solution to the problem if we can get this dried out and the lights turned off. Um, Cause see, let me show you what I think is happening. But we're in we're in Alabama, so it's super hot here during the day, and we have the air conditioners going. And so we have the air conditioners going. It kind of works like a Coke can, where you take a cold Coke can outside in a hot day, it starts sweating. Now, the whole bedroom is, is pretty well insulated, and so when I'm, I'm, and this is right on top of the slide is where these light fixtures are, and because there's a hole cut out in there for the light fixture to go in, that's really kind of the path of least resistance for the heat to get into this light, because I reached my fingers up into the, to the hole where the light fixture are. There's no moisture in there, so there's no leak. I went onto the roof. I looked to make sure that the, the air conditioner runoff wasn't, wasn't running through, or may, maybe there was a crack in the gutter allowing some of that moisture to get through to the slide. Uh, and we haven't had rain in, in days, so it's, it's not a leak issue. It's the condensation. And because that hole right there where that light fixture sits up next to is the path of least resistance, that's where that, um, that hot meets that cold, and that plastic fixture is collecting that moisture, and it kind of built up in there and, and kicked the light on. Let me show you what I'm talking about. This is the light that is slightly still on. This is what it's supposed to look like, it's supposed to be off completely. And this one, as you can see, is just a little bit lit up. There's some condensation back in here that's, that's uh, causing that to light up. I think it's completing the circuit. But up here, there's no moisture. Up inside of here, there's no moisture. And like I said, I got on the roof. There are no leaks. There's no moisture anywhere else. This is not soft. This is not wet. Um, so it's just the whole back of this was wet. And there was condensation on the front. And even where this connects and this screw right here, it's all um, still a little wet. That hole is where that hot air is meeting that this cool air right here, and it's collecting in these little those little grits right those grades right there, and it's just spreading and it goes through the. And you can see um, that that screw right there is a little bit rusted. That means there's been moisture in there for for quite some time. So I'm kind of glad that we caught it now. It's tomorrow morning, and we had to let the lights dry out overnight because the one was still had just a hint of faint light coming out of it. Not enough to like disturb our sleep or anything, but um, we had to let it dry out overnight. Woke up this morning, the lights are out, so I'm assuming it's dry enough to where the circuits are not connecting. And so now, I'm about to redneck this thing up. <laughs> By the way, Leslie got some new bedding, so let me show you that too. Now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to take standard old beer koozie and I'm going to cut a circle in it and I'm going to cut a slit in that circle so the wires can run through and then I'm going to put that layer of beer koozie up between the light fixture and the ceiling and let it do what a beer koozie do which is to stop moisture from getting on your stuff so we're going to put it in there um, we're going to run that air like we normally have for the last uh, forever and it's supposed to be hot today and tomorrow real hot up in close to the 100 mark so uh, we'll run the air uh, like we normally do and then we come back um, in a couple days and I'll check it and we'll see if the old beer koozie method worked so you might think you're cool but I bet you ain't never fixed my RV with a beer koozie cool <laughs> 
Looks like I'm a little rednecker than you. <laughs> Alright, it's been like four days since we put the beer koozie parts into the into the light and uh so far none of the lights have automatically turned themselves back on so i'm assuming that's a good sign but we're going to go ahead and take the fixtures off and just get in there and see if any of that moisture has returned and the reason i'm doing it at this time of day it's like three o'clock in the afternoon hottest part of the day it's nice and cool in the bedroom and very hot outside so this would be the this would be the opportune time for that condensation to build up so this is the best time to see if the beer koozie parts are actually functioning properly. So let's get those off and I'll let you know how it works. You can see that um, on the back of this now it's completely dry. This was this was all wet. Like all, all these little squares had like condensation inside of them, but they're dry now. And the um, the piece of the beer koozie is is also dry. Now when I first did this I cut a slit through here and then I cut a hole through here because I thought that I was gonna have to run that through the wires but that's not the case this thing will it'll just sit right there and it'll cover up that hole up there so um, you can do a solid piece I was a little worried that since it still had a hole that some condensation would get through there but um, it's not so uh, turns out that it's working pretty good uh, looking pretty good I'm gonna put that back in there and uh, hopefully we won't have any more issues out of this guy well, that's it. That is how to fix your RV with a beer koozie. <laughs> Never thought I'd say those words. But uh, anyway, um, as always, 10% yeah, of everything that we earn uh, goes toward veterans in need. In the description down below this video is where you can find all the ways that you can help us help vets out on the road. And as always, we're going to honor a fallen hero as we do on every one of our videos at the end here. Um, appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next week. Bye.